Hi, this is David. Today we're looking at the Sanaji DS2519 Plus, the Plus series. Very nice, big box, a replacement for my DS1815 Plus. It's a little bit five year old system, still works great, but I just want to uh, move, have more base because I, got, I just moved to a new property, so I need extra surveillance uh, function. And this one here, I don't have to change anything because uh, I have four extra bays, so I can just plug in a couple of surveillance purple hard drive to make it work. Let's open up and take a look what's inside. You got a nice little box over here, shipping tags, nice sturdy box, and over here it stated DS1, uh, DS2419 uh, Plus. You open up. You see this nice big tag, it's a big unit, have a tote bay, so it's really nice. As you can see, it don't have a handle because such large box, but it does come with a um, really nice picture over here, and it's really nice big unit. You can see over here, over here, and over here. I have nothing, just plain old box. It's uh, for professional use, uh, small business, so it's uh, everything is very uh, simple uh, for general users, not for. The uh, Synology uh, 1815, it does come with several different items. Let's take a look here. You got tray over here with power adapter, which is uh, open up. Over here, few network cable, quick installation guide, uh, a lock, and screws for the hard drives. Let's put on the side here and take out the unit here. So instead, nice foam. This one do come with the plastic bags, which make a lot of things easier. So instead, open up to a a full bag you need to open up. This one comes with a plastic bag. So it's an easily show, it's very nice overall. And here's the unit. You got a drive bay over here. And pop out drink shipping. And let's take a look what I have here. You got, uh, you got a nice little Synology over here. On the back side, you got two uh, fans, four network cable, one expansion port, one COM port, two USB. So instead of DS1A15, you got two ESADA, you got expansion uh, connectors over here, SAS connector. So it makes things a lot easier. And this particular one here, uh, the fan you can directly pull out instead of the other ones it's you need to pull out separately this one is easier to replace the fan here because it's a heavy duty use unit so it's really nice on uh, the other side you got the Synology logo and on the front you got really nice top units the bay count is 1, 2, 3, 4 all the way down to 11, 12 what's different between this versus my old one of Synology. Let's take a look. Okay, this is my old one, DS1A15. The width is about the same. This uh, DS1A15 is a little bit wider because you got A bay over here. Over here, it's about the same but it's a little bit deeper. So you got about six to eight inches deeper with DS1A, uh, DS2419 
One Nine Plus versus a DS One A One Five, and you still got similar size of fans over here. So it's really nice, since seven size of fans, and you still got four connect on the bottom over here. Over here, so you can still use the lag function if your switch offers that function. The fan get a little bit dirty, I didn't clean it, but over here it's a similar way of uh, uh, cooling the unit, but it is a little bit taller, a little bit deeper, and this will be a nice unit overall. So, the reason why I changed this particular unit is because. I gonna put surveillance camera on this one here. So it's gonna have a purple drive, four terabyte, uh, another four terabyte hard drive. I gonna shack uh, uh, AZ store for additional storage. That's a really good ten terabyte for low price. Uh, you gonna have Mcrest camera here and. And press uh, dual surface camera. A ring. This one actually just connect to the internet. It doesn't use technology, but I'm gonna install same time for the ring doorbell. So it will be on it. And because this two surveillance camera have a PoE function, I got myself a Unify switch with PoE function. So really nice overall. And this is a really good set. So I'm gonna move the hard drive from here to here. But before that, I'm gonna do a little bit labeling because I prefer to have my drive label 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 on the drive slots right here. So I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna just uh, label it, pull over here. So if I switch from this over here to over here, it won't have any issue. So let me do that and I will come back in a sec. 